In this video, we're going to take a look at percent of change. Percent of change is a very commonly used statistic that you might hear on the news in a story about how a business's profits have increased a certain percentage or uh, the payment for a particular thing is going up 3% or prices have gone up 2% or anything like that. Anytime you hear about a percent of change, it would be great to know how exactly that that's calculated. And so let's take a look at that. The formula to find percent of change is simply the amount of change divided by the original amount. And that will come out as a decimal, which we can then convert into a percent. So let's take a look at a few of these here. For this first problem, we have 150 to 144. Well, first of all, we can talk about a percent of increase or decrease. Well, this is going to be a decrease because we started out at 150, we're going down to 144. So it's going to be a decrease. So let's jot that down. And then to figure out the percent of change, we go ahead and find the amount of change. So what's the difference between 150 and 144? That would be 6. And we're going to divide that by where we started. The original amount was 150. So 6 divided by 150, you can grab your calculator and do that. 6 divided by 150 is going to be equal to 0 0.04. Now, it's not 0.04%. Remember, I said this is going to be the percent coming out as a decimal. So we got to convert this to a percent by moving it two spots to the right. So that means this is a 4% decrease. 4% decrease. Let's take a look at this next one over here, where we have it going from 72 to 108. Well, that would be a percent of increase, because we're going from 72 and going larger to 108. So percent of increase. And to find out exactly how much that is, we need to know the difference between 72 and 108. That would be, let's see, 36. So we're up 36 over the original amount. And the original amount in this case is 72. Has nothing to do with the larger amount or anything like that. Sometimes people get confused by that. We take the original amount where we started. So 36 divided by 72 is going to be 0.5. And remember, that comes out as a decimal. So we've got to change that to a percent. It'll be over two spots. And that means we have a 50% increase. 50% increase. OK. Let's take a look at another one here. Works exactly the same way when we have decimals. That doesn't bother us. We can still do that. So in this case, again, we're going from 48 to 43.92. Well, that's going to be a decrease. So we can start by saying it's a decrease. And then we've got to figure out that difference. Well, 48 to 43.92, subtract that. And we're going to end up with um, 4.08. So that's our amount of change. And we divide that by the original amount. Remember, that's what we started with. So we divide that by 48. And that gives us, let's see here, throw it in the old calculator. We get 0 0.085. Again, it's not 0.085%. We got to change that to a percent by moving the decimal two spots over. So it'd be 8.5%. Okay? All right, let's take a look at one more here, where we've got 120 to 54. OK, same story. It's a decrease, again, in this case, because we're starting with the larger 120 going down to 54. So it's a decrease. And then find that difference right there, 120 minus 54. Pretty sure I could do that mentally, but I'm feeling a little uh, unsure of my mental skills. I hate to make a mistake. So divide or subtract that, and we get 66. And then divide by 120, because that's our original amount. 66 divided by 120 is going to give us 0.55. So again, change it to a percent, so it would be 55% decrease. Now, something I want you to notice here, 
what would happen if we flip these numbers around rather than going from 120 to 54 if we went from 54 up to 120? Is it a 55% change? Well, let's try it out. I think this is an interesting piece in terms of percentages that uh, sometimes we maybe lose track of a little bit. So let's say instead of going from 120 to 54, we go from 54 to 120. Okay? Again, we stick with this. It's the amount of change. So that stays the same. That's still 66. So it's 66 divided by, ooh, wait now. The original amount in this case is going to be 54. So 66 divided by 54. Let's see. Well, that's going to be more than 1 for sure. So it actually works out to be 1.2 repeating. So, huh. Well, that would be. Let's round that off to the nearest tenth of a percent. So it would be 122.2%, and this would be an increase. Okay, so notice we can't just flip them around and it stays the same. It, it makes a big difference where we started and then bringing in that change. So that's where percent of change can sometimes be a little bit misleading, and you've got to really understand and know what those numbers were and to really get a feel for those percents of change. All right, so quickly to review. To find the percent of change, we take the amount of change, so subtract the two numbers, and divide it by the original amount wherever you started. We can talk about increases or decreases, and that's just simply is it going up or down from where we started. Then do that division. Remember it's going to come out as a decimal. Once you get that decimal, convert it to a percent by moving it two spots to the right, and boom, there's your percent of change. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.